Hi, in this demo you will learn some basics about 3D modeling. Here, you will see that we are working in the Mac version, but you can apply the same concepts to Linux or Windows systems. First, we will change the color background. Just go to the viewport option, as you see in this example. Then, when the viewport dialog window appears, just click on the background color to select the one you want it as background. Finally, click the OK button. Now, click on the grid color to change it. Select the color, click the OK button to finish. Finally, click the OK button to exit the viewport dialog window. Now, click the line tool button to start drawing the line. To add precision to our drawing, we will activate the Snap tool, then the Snap Grip option. Set the first point of the line, just clicking at the drawing area. Then, move your cursor to the right, this is to select the second point. You will notice that the Snap Grip function limits the movement to the grip. Then, select another point to draw another line. Now, go to the Modify menu and select Ortho option. The ortho option is to pick up points with right angles. Now, go to command line and write 1.5 and press the enter key. This is to set the other point of the line. Then, type the number 2, at the command line and press the enter key. This is to set another point of the lines we are drawing. Now, move your cursor to the right and click your left mouse button. Then. Move up your cursor and set another point here. Just click your left mouse button. Now, move your cursor to the left and with the left mouse button, click it to set another point. Finally, go to command line bar and type C. This is to close the figure with a final line. Now, deactivate the ortho function. Go to modify menu and select ortho again. Now, we will draw another line. Go to command line bar and type L and press enter key. Notice that in the command line area, the line tool is asking you to set your first point. Click the mouse button to set the point. Now, go to command line bar and type the relative coordinate as you see in the screen. Then, go to the point shown on the screen and click your left mouse button. Finally, press escape key to exit the line tool. Now. Select the line as shown in the screen. Then, type E command at the command line. Now, click the rotate view button at the toolbar. Drag your mouse cursor to rotate the drawing view. Now, select the pan tool button on the toolbar. This command moves the display window without changing the current zoom ratio. Select the zoom tool. Then drag your mouse up and down. This command enlarges or reduces the display magnification of the drawing. To exit a command, press the escape key. Select the 9 lines you have on the drawing area. Just drag your mouse from your upper left corner to the below right corner, then release the mouse button. You will see that the all lines are now selected. Now, we will use the extrude tool. This tool creates a surface extending the line or lines. Go to command line bar and type the following relative coordinates. Then press enter key. To exit the extrude command press escape key. Go to rotate view icon and select it. When you finish rotating the view, just press the escape key. Now, go to the view menu and select the show hide triangles option. Then, select the rotate view icon on the toolbar. Rotate view until you have a perspective like the one shown here. Now, select the lines that are located above. Go to command bar line and type E. The E is a shortcut for the Array command. 
Go to rotate view icon again and rotate the view as shown here. Now, go to the view menu and select the show, hide triangles option. Select the drawing. Just drag your mouse from upper left corner to the below right corner. Finally, release your mouse button and you will see the selected figure. Then, go to group menu and select the group option. Then, go to the view menu and select area option. View the command line bar. Here, the area tool is asking to select the group you want to calculate the area. Select the drawing with just clicking your left mouse button. You will see at command line some information. It shows the area. The parameter is shown at the side. The triangle's area is the last. In this demo you have learned the use of basics tools to draw a 3D project. We hope you have enjoyed it. Please stay tuned for more tutorials in our website.